Hey guys, quick update on the Galvo 50 watt Omtech compact laser. So believe it or not, where I buy my oxygen and acetylene gases, this guy has a bow shop too. He's he's an archery hunter, and I just kind of mentioned this to him, and he was like, "Dude, can you make me business cards with this image on it?" And I thought. Geez, I don't know. I've only had this thing, you know, a short period of time. But give me the image and I'll give it a shot and see what I can come up with. So if you're going to do this and it's your first time around like it is mine, you're going to need a bunch of these, if you're into this, these business card blanks. Aluminum, same size as a business card, black on both sides. So I brought his image home loaded it onto the computer and did a bunch of test burns and most of them were pretty crappy but he finally settled on actually yeah it's that one so this is the one that he wants on the back I won't show you well his information's not on either side, but I won't show you the um, the finished product because I didn't get his okay to do that. But anyway, I've what two, four, six, eight tries to try and get this squared away. So unfortunately, I don't have a record a screen kind of setup, but basically what I did for these little cards, and the one thing I need to warn you about is if your power is too high, Actually, that's the one he settled on. If your power is too high, these cards are so thin that they start to warp from the heat. And it screws up your final product, so to speak. So what I wound up with, and I hope you all can see it, I got my speed at 25 inch per second. My max power is 30. Frequency is 20, pass count at 1, interval at 0028.0028. So to make this come out well, or as well as I can, you right-click, you import your image, you right-click on your image, and click on Adjust Image. So what I did is I chose Dither, Invert Display, because it was coming out way too white for the uh, invert display to be left on. I adjusted the contrast, the brightness, the gamma. That's all going to depend on your image, how dark or bright it is, so don't use these because they're going to be different for you. But I'm going to lay one on the laser and cut it while you watch. It only takes, its I think it's just under two minutes, which is phenomenal because the um, other laser that I have, although it's great for wood and things of that nature, it just it, it doesn't do anything really on metal. But um, this works out really, really well, and I see limitless possibilities for this. So let's get over on the laser and we'll be right back. So a couple issues when you're recording anyway is when you have the laser powered on, the fans are really loud. Thankfully, for recording purposes, you can do your framing with the fans off as long as your laser is powered on. So let's get our card. And I'm going to tell you right now, the black cards or anything black is really difficult to see your frame on. Because the black just absorbs the light. And it makes it difficult to get things centered. So what I recommend is one of two things. I took a business card, one of these aluminum business cards, and I painted it white. So you can see, you can see the, the framing perfectly. So my intent was, I was going to get the business card that I painted white centered, tape it down, set my workpiece directly on top of it, 
and then it wouldn't matter because I know that it's being framed correctly. The other option is, because you can't paint everything that you're going to engrave or cut, the other option is to turn off your lights. And that makes it just visible enough to get a good framing vision so you can center your piece. I'm not going to try and get this centered very well. I just want to run a few more tests on this because the one I just showed you was the one and only that I did. I took some pictures, emailed them to him, and, well, texted them to him. And he was like, yeah, go for it. So we're going to do a few more just to make sure everything is good to go. And we're going to start it now. So I'll show you what this looks like when it's cooking. Of course, I've done this a million times. I press a start on light burn. This, this laser comes with easy CAD, but I'm familiar with light burn, so that's what I'm using. I can't tell you how many times I've hit the start to cut button on light burn without turning the laser on. So here comes the noise. Hopefully you can see, because I did forget to turn the lights back on, that uh, the card is starting to warp at the bottom end. And it's even worse if you use higher power. That's part of the reason that I've got the speed so high, to try and reduce the warping. And you can make a clamp or a jig that holds either side to keep it flat, but then you're infringing on your burn area. And man, compared to uh, my CO2 laser, these things are so fast, it's disgusting. And that's it, that one's done. And to do the actual text on the other side, literally takes two seconds. Nothing sped up, it's just ridiculously fast so I just thought I'd bring you along for this quick burn and if, when you do this be careful because a lot of times this one isn't but if you're burning something like I've been burning everything my wrenches sockets it's it's yeah just trying to learn this and you run a bunch of passes you pick this up and it's hot I mean really hot like burn your hand hot so be careful with that and there's going to be more videos for sure. I actually try to engrave on a piece of PVC pipe. And I was astounded at how well it came out. So that might be the next video. If you need to mark, you know, that type of plastic. This is really handy for that. All right, guys. Today is Saturday, July 27th. It's almost August. My God, it's going to be snowing soon. So enjoy your day, enjoy your weekend, and we'll talk soon. Take care now. I guess I should have showed how the two came out. And they're very, very similar. So the repeatability is absolutely there. So far, very happy with this Omtec laser. And I'm not sure I'd recommend it just yet, but maybe in the near future. All right, guys, take care.